Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was weary, you helped me find rest. When I was anxious, you calmed all my fears. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Welcome to this eighth episode in a series entitled Encounters of the Fourth Kind. I am Father Ron Will, a missionary of the Precious Blood, serving at Precious Blood Renewal Center in Liberty, Missouri. Many of you probably have remembered the science fiction movie out some years ago called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. An encounter of the third kind is a sighting in the distance of human beings, of non-human beings. An encounter of the fourth kind is not just the sighting in the distance, but the actual personal encounter of human beings and non-human beings. This series invites you to go deeper into your relationship with God, to plunge into that deeper relationship. It is an invitation to enter the divine embrace. I remember reading about a 19th century painting which depicts a long line of beggars waiting in a soup line. They are all ragged and sleazy looking, but around the head of one particular, barely perceptible, is a halo. One of them is Christ. You may not see halos around the head of brothers and sisters in need in your life, and yet when you serve them, you also serve Christ. One message from sacred scripture is, stay awake so that you may hear Christ's call into his kingdom of love. Stay awake to Jesus' command. Love one another, and you will be on your way. Seek first the kingdom of God, says the Lord. Love is the greatest commandment, and service is the outward expression of love. Listen as I read a passage from the Gospel according to Matthew from chapter 25. When he finally arrives, blazing in beauty and all his angels with him, the Son of Man will take his place on his glorious throne. Then all the nations will be gathered around him, and he will sort the people out, such as a shepherd sorts out sheep and goats, putting sheep on his right and goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Enter, you who are blessed by my father. Take what's coming to you in his kingdom. It's been ready for you since the world's foundation. And here's why. I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was homeless, and you gave me a, a room. 
I was shivering and you gave me clothes. I was sick and you stopped to visit. I was in prison and you came to me. Then those sheep are going to say, Master, what are you talking about? When did we see you hungry and feed you, thirsty and give you drink? And when did we ever see you sick or in prison and come to you? Then the king will say, I'm telling the solemn truth. Whenever you did one of these things to someone overlooked or ignored, that was me. You did it to me. Now I invite you to allow me to lead you in a guided meditation on that scene. I invite you to close your eyes and get comfortable. Relax your entire body. Take a couple deep breaths. Hold it, exhale deeply. Do that a few times and relax. Now look at the picture on your screen. Then close your eyes and recall an experience in your own life. Can you remember a time when in your life, when you offered a helping hand or gave an encouraging word to someone who was struggling? And as you walked away from that experience, thought to yourself, hmm, I think I may have encountered Jesus there. Or can you remember a time when you did not stop or offer a helping hand or give a listening ear or an encouraging word and walked away and later thought, hmm, I think I missed an opportunity to encounter Jesus today. You can probably think of a lot of experiences when you passed up an opportunity, but for now, focus on a time when you did stop and notice and offered a helping hand or word. Recall that event now, revisit it. I am going to invite you to savor that moment. See the person in your mind's eye. See all the circumstances around it. Notice the environment. See what the person is wearing. See the expression on the person's face. Or maybe recall a time when you thought about making a phone call to someone who was going through a hard time and you made that call. As you revisit it now, what are you feeling in your heart? Take your time to remember that event or that person. When you hear Jesus say, come, you who are blessed into the kingdom of my Father, what are you feeling? As you reflect on that past experience, what is the desire in your heart for your future? How and when could you do that again? Every person is precious, as precious as the blood of Christ. You have just had an encounter of the fourth kind, not just the sighting from a distance, but the actual personal encounter of a human being and a non-human being, an encounter with the hidden Christ within a human being. Continue to sit in silence for a couple minutes and continue to experience that encounter. Savor it. Then join me again next month for another close encounter of the fourth kind. In the meantime, may God bless you.